Hi everybody, welcome back to Terra Firmicraft Season 3 with me Sid and uh, today we are going to stay well away from the forge, well we're not going to stay away from the forge, we're just not going to do any work in the forge. We are not going to do much if any work around here, maybe just a little bit of stocking up as and when uh, as and when this is ready to have more wood put in. Um, we are going to build, we're going to build something. But first things first, I just need to divest myself of uh, a number of bits and pieces of stuff that I actually don't need on my person, such as um, leads. But while we're doing it, we can make some cheese if we haven't got any. What? <laughs> More cheese, grommet. <laughs> Love that phrase. It's one of those phrases that suits me down to ground. I am a big cheese fan. Um, it has to be said, I'm one of these people that that really 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 likes their cheeses uh to the point where going on a diet and not being able to eat any any full fat solid cheeses like this one here um is almost almost criminal so we can get this one going we can bonk and uh, while we're here we will put you away and there's one more cow in here which is milkable is it you it is you right so that's that done we've got four so another trip and a bit and we've got a full full house we're just going to put this cheese in the uh, cold room and we are going to start work on the uh, the lumber yard well not the lumber yard we've done the lumber yard we're going to start work on the lumber shed to go with the lumber yard um done oh, that's not a cold room done a little bit of planning in uh, creative mode come up with what i think is a uh, a nice design uh oh i also ran out of veg what have we got we'll take that garlic and we shall trim that we'll trim the decay from it yeah because the sandwiches ran out of veg so my veg content is going to be going down in a bit if i'm not careful um yeah so lumber yard it's it's going to be a mixed mixed bag between um let's get the come here uh we are there lumber yard let's get that one finished and that will be a good one so it's going to be a mixed bag between a functional building area and a decorative area um first things first that we are going to need is a place to build it this wall hopefully will be coming down today as well or in the next couple of episodes depending on how long it takes to build this um this lumber yard itself first things first we need some timber for the uh, base now i would like to use aspen but i don't know how much of that yeah it's not too bad let's um let's get some because aspen is it's just a nice dark industrial kind of color uh, and what we are going to have is we're going to have a gap and then the the sawmill blade itself is going to go right hang on let me get this right so we'll have a gap i'm going to go here this is not going to join up because that's fine uh two three and then we're going to have one two three so this is where the blade's going to go and it's going to drop into the ground and the the logs are going to be kind of pushed through and i use the word blade loosely so it is going to go like this i'm going to have that going on uh we probably i'm sure to get the saw down because otherwise i get told off if i don't don't use the saw to cut planks <laughs> yeah uh and we don't want to be told off and I actually need a hammer because I haven't got one. Right, there's the makings of one bit of a hammer. And another bang, let's bang and bang and jobs are good. Right, uh, mode is slab mode. So these are going to go one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Uh, one, two, three, one, two, three. It's a very thick blade. One, two, three. I could make it one thick, but it's then going to be off center, which is going to look weird to me. So uh, yeah, I, I'm not a not a fan. And then we're going to go. Uh, oh Christ, this is going to be awkward. 
mode. This is detail mode, and this one needs to go one, two, one, two, right down there, and then down there, down there, down there. And all of this is going to be chiseled out and be, th be it will be th three deep on both sides. So it's a little bit more fiddly. Um, but I think the result is worth it. And I'm using basalt because it's kind of got a nice metal stroke, irony look to it. But that's going to be a little bit of detail on that side. And we'll do the same on this side. I'll take it two more layers deep. And uh, then we're going to have those go around. So it's going to be a, nine, a three by three. Um, so I'll get that done. Be right back. All right, got the basics done. Uh, I had intended to uh, record it as a muted time lapse, but... Um, yeah, didn't register my pressing of the record key. Wasn't grippingly gripping anyway, but there you go. We've got what looks only like a, uh, can only be described as like a slab. Now, I did make one slight cock up here. I'm not changing that because A, I'm out of these basalt blocks. And B, it's a lot of chiseled durability for one pixel over. Um, we'll live, we'll live with that. These are kind of recessed in a little bit and that's, yeah. That is your um, your base. And then what we're going to do next is we are going to take these and we are going to make a back to detail mode. We're going to take out that and that and same here. And let me get this right here and then the same here. Is a little bit fiddly and here uh, and that is going to go back three like that on there and the same here one two three and what we're basically chiseling is a 24 diameter a circle on a chisel level rather than the usual oh, one two three I've done that one two three so that goes there and then it's going to be a, a one and a one and then this basically is a diagonal all the way along and all of this lot comes out so we get a circular saw made out of basalt. That's the uh, the basic idea. So did I? I didn't do that one. Uh, same again here. And then we can just whip out all of this and the same on the bottom edges as well so the idea is that this is your, your circular saw blade um i i haven't really got any plans for what i'm intending to say is powering this um if it weren't such an expensive thing i might stick one of those um, steam engines in but they are quite quite the, the pricey item to use for a bit of decoration um especially when my iron situation is not good. Um, well, we need to. We do need to just go out and do some more prospecting for iron and find some more iron reserves. But that's, you know, a job for another day. Uh, okay, so you're going to go there and there and there, and there, and there. So yeah, the chiseling is t i actually i mean chisels and bits is actually probably is, is more flexible because obviously you can mix and match your blocks it's also more tedious because instead of being eight these are this is two pixel blocks uh, instead of being eight it's 16. um and then what i want to do here is i want to chop out that and that that one and that one 
uh, and we'll, we'll do a little bit more detail in a moment up there but this does the same following round so these are basically the teeth of the saw blade and it's a little bit faffy and a little bit a little bit odd off to be honest. to be honest it's not it's not a perfect shape um, I had a, a good play with it and this is about the best I could come up with um, without going to a bigger saw blade uh, which I didn't want to do so yeah and then do the same here here Yeah, and here so you kind of got that's going on and you can you've got the feel of the saw blade and then I think I just took out that one that one that one and that one just to give it that like I'm a saw blade <laughs> there's no doubts I don't think in anybody's mind that what we're looking at there is a circular saw blade and then we'll have that comes around like here that comes over here and then we're going to bring this this I uh, need more so yeah no doubts at all that that's a saw blade but we'll make it even better and more saw blady I shall uh, grab another block of that another block of you we shall do that and that Oh god, damn it! Get there eventually. That and uh, that probably would have been easier just to stick one in each. But uh, and I'm sure someone said, "Why didn't you just do that?" But there you go. That's this is just how I roll. So we've got the old floor going out there, and then we have the similarly, and I think we'll do a, another three by three coming out there, and that should be a three by three coming in. Now the question is here. No, not that. Is do I use the same wood or a different wood for the floor? I am very, very, very tempted to use something else. I don't know what. Not acacia. Not birch. Not chestnut. I haven't got Douglas fir. Hickory. Mm, haven't got much of that at all. Maple. No. Oak. No. Pine. No. Spruce. No. White cedar. We could use. Uh, let's have a look because we've got plenty we've got another batch ready to dig up as well um, or do we use the same that's going to stay no that is going to stand out like a bulldog's nuts we're going to stick with this then and we're going to do that design here and then we're going to get a chisel back and the chisel is going to be in where are you? Stemmoed. Bang, bang, bang. Da, 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 da. Same going along here. We'll probably need to extend this floor. Well, no, probably about it. We do need to extend this floor. Um, I don't want to extend this floor too far this way, though. I think we'll probably just do one layer at this point. Um, and then maybe just go and do this to to distinguish we'll do the same around here and then we'll have a, a layer that runs up and then some steps I think that should probably oh hang on hammer buh, buh, buh. right more hickory and we're good uh, and hickory is only up the coast there anyway we can always go and grab more aspen even not hickory i know what i mean da -da, 16 of those should be fine and yeah this is a uh, yeah this is what we should have done oh god he said this is what we should have done doing it wrong but when about to say this is what we should have done always ensure that you're actually going to do what we should have done 
I think like that that's that's kind of a good a good floor area for this uh, especially once we've um, built in the we'll build a little bit of a, a house and air workshop area as well and get this all all done proper yeah I think that works uh, what logs shall we use um, willows a bit green I want something that's going to contrast maybe those do 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 so I'll pop you down there actually I, could, I didn't need to do that did I but yes I know I'm using my axe <laughs> so we stick our log into the saw and yeah that's the basic structure done for the uh, the sawmill it's not finished by a long shot but that's the underlying shape or structure that we've got so um next things next we need to start thinking about the roof what we're going to do with uh, that's not where i want to be <laughs> roof um structures around the area the ground you know what we're going to do within the floor there um what other bits and pieces we need to put in there because obviously this is um very much a decorative piece but it also needs um it does need some some TLC in the in the form of uh, some things. I'm going to get rid of. I'm going to get rid of you. Maple. You see, maple as a roof is probably. I still think I like the green for the roof. It's just me. Um. So you got that going on to here. This kind of comes out here. So what I was thinking is we probably get some. This is a old slabbed wall which is too deep so we could continue that on this way we'd need to replace you of course um, now if we brought you to there that's not very big at all but if we brought it that way a couple and that would give us an entrance here wouldn't it and maybe maybe doing something out this way I don't know uh, let me have a little little think a little play maybe even a little mull and uh, and I will be right back. All right, um, just been over at the uh, wood tree farm grabbing some uh, willow. And uh, I think I have a design that I'm happy with. Just need to uh, drink and be merry. And uh, yeah, I've got an idea, or at least some somewhat of an idea. And uh, we also need to grab some grub. I'm a little bit starting to run out. Not out but starting to run out you know that that little bit where things oh well, the oranges are ready the oranges oh, can't be but, you know part of me is like yeah get them harvested i've got so much fruit in that cellar it's it's actually not funny um and i could do some oranges for my yeah uh, for my sandwiches now so yeah my de the decay has uh, has decided that I will harvest some oranges just to uh, if nothing else to get my fruit on the uh, table that's enough <laughs> um, yeah the oranges are conspiring against me Okay, there we go. One, two, and three, and four, uh, and five. That should be enough. Tide is over, hopefully, for this episode, if nothing else. All right, 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 right. Where are we? We are over here, and uh, I have dug into the hill. So I am going to, I'm going to build. This is going to be the um, the workshop. This is going to be the saw area, and then we're going to have like a little overhang here. Um, from there to there this uh well this is awkward uh oh God, how do we how are we going to handle this yeah we've got a problem 
Houston, we have, oh no we don't, we don't have a problem at all. We've got no problem, we do it like that. Uh, so, we're going to have a roof which comes out to about there. We're going to have andesite wall as the support pillars there and there. This little bit of andesite wall comes out there and then and that's that's your your two wide gate area going in um two minds as to whether to this is chisel the chisel block um that we've used previously like that um two minds as to whether to change that out for yeah i don't know i i, I am in as i say two minds really um I mean, I can take that out and place that there, and we can chisel this back one, two, but then that stops connecting one, two. Uh, eh. No, I'm going to go. With, I'm going to stay with the wall there. I'm going to stay with the wall. Um, so that's that. You've got your gate entrance there. Here we've got the the saw, which is the the mass the centerpiece of the entire exhibit um what i need to do is get back up there which is going to be easier said than done because uh, what we can do then is uh, we'll we'll get the the roof done uh, or at least the start of the roof done and yeah perfect and we can just chop that that and that out and then we should have more than enough to uh, to get this this covering done And uh, with a bit of look, this will this will look quite nice. Uh, of course, with a with a bit of look and a bit of water in the old inventory, this will look quite nice. Uh, uh, right. Oh damn. Damn damn damn. It's not a problem. It's just a minor damn moment there. Uh, okay, let me crouch because I realise that I'm. The thing is, under normal Minecraft circumstances, this fall wouldn't be dangerous. But under this, a fall like that is, is could could come close to killing me. I think in uh, TFC. Not entirely sure, but I'm not entirely willing to put it to the test either. So for the time being, I won't. Simple as. Right, and then you are back into mode and we're going to do that all the way down here to do get you done so I've got to, this to repeat here and here this is going to be one of those like that and then we'll we'll get the other side done so let me get that done and again I will be right back all right, we're a little bit further on. I'm just doing the overhang, the, the lean-to roof, if you like, for a better name for it. I'm not sure what the best name for this is. Never did get that finished either. I must um, get rid of that for now. Because I don't know whether I want to do that or not, to be honest. Um, it's a lot of effort for, oh, for a little reward, he says, as he... Where, right, where are we? Da, 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 da. pop another one in this is what happens when you talk and try and chisel at the same time <laughs> you make mistakes uh, which is why when I'm doing detailed chisel work I don't tend to record um, just simply because uh, oh yes I know I'm using my axe I want this axe to break so I can use my other axe uh, um, so there you go uh, oh there is one more thing to do. Similarly, my new chisel would look a bit like a little run as well. Uh, that is unfortunate, but there's not much you can do about that. It's just Minecraft wall connecting 
texture mode so not a huge amount we can do about that so that is our lumber shed mainly open to the elements we need to what i think we probably want to do is about here and maybe here put in steps going up and we don't really need to have that bottom this again is that bit is not necessary but you know um, and the fact the steps themselves are not necessary because I can just jump but that gives you little walkways up so having got all of that we've got a floor to sort out we in this area uh, illumination uh, maybe some decoration and we have the actual workshop area over here which I think will be enclosed uh, will almost certainly get rid of this lot but this entire wall is going shortly anyway so and again I want this axe I want all of these to break really and uh, they're not that they are going out their way to to not do as they're told oh finally I mean I shouldn't complain I mean that kind of durability is good but I'm going to complain because I'm an Englishman and it's my queen given right to complain <laughs> uh, I'm not sure whether it is my queen given right to complain but I'm damn well going to exercise it all the same um yeah so that kind of works there we've got all that going on and uh let me a check how long i've been recording b think about what i what materials i'm going to use in and around here because this is going to be a wall um and i'll be back in for the uh, chicken butchery there uh, needed to be done they were out of control not obviously practicing any form of safe sex breeding like you know like chickens um so yeah we've uh, i've got this and i've managed to get the 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 kind of rough working floor extended in here this there is some more work to be done around in here obviously we need to build the craft area Need to decide what to do over there i may i don't know i've got room elsewhere to do that but i may build a little uh, food smokers and dryers hut or area over here and move move that and these out of the way and and then we'll have a nice straight thoroughfare straight through here and uh we obviously need to think about our thoroughfare around here and what we do with this and this path is almost certainly going to continue around here into the lumberjacks area we've got still need to think about our uh, vineyard and orchard uh, so many things to do but we've made made some pretty big strides inwards with the the lumber area it's starting to look look more like a complete area and less like just a you know a big expanse of, of area that we store wood in um which is exactly what it is but you know but yeah i think uh, i think that will probably do us for this episode so uh, until next time thank you very much for watching guys uh and uh, i will see you soon and bye for now